So we get the uh, Set. Ready, set, action. <laughs> What do you think happened? Yeah, I'll pop the hood and find out. Just be careful. You be careful. All right. Okay. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Set here. Here we go. Set. Ready and action. Over here. <clears throat> Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Amen. Okay, cut. Over here. Father, sooner the better. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> if we hear the door like a oh. Yeah, right? Is that? Don't want to get too excited because maybe it's not a. Maybe but it's not Yeah. Well, he always rings twice. <laughs> <laughs> Quick relapse. Uh. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like a little bit. You don't want to get so excited because it's been a little bit. But yeah, I think there's a little bit of hope. You guys can exchange a look. You yeah. wait a little bit, and then you get up and go. Okay, Judy. I just saw Mary Ellen pull up. Go get your things. What? First, put your cereal in it. Never mind. I'll get it.
Demon! Come back. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, cut. You should be proud of that. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, you should. That to me should play on every commercial. So you believe in ghosts now? No, I want you. you no, were gonna go when yeah. I say Ed. When you go Ed. Then, then Drew. Then that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Looking out. Is he he's something he's already on the move so he can have it draped over his arm or he can throw it on the hat stand right by the door? It's fine. Hold on. All right, places, everybody, please. I'm the daughter of Ed and Lorraine Warren. When I was a little kid, I was not aware of what my parents did for a living. In the morning, my father would get up, he'd go down in his office, and he'd read about the occult. He'd find something to go and investigate, or somebody would call them, and they'd go off on that case. People kept giving my father all these haunted objects, and they had to put them someplace. In a cabinet downstairs, my father told me, never open that cabinet up. I was afraid to be there. Annabelle is probably the most haunted object in the Warren's Occult Museum. That came straight from Ed's mouth because of the havoc that it caused with people. What'd you do to get in there? Something about that doll really does fascinate people. It's sitting in a box and behind glass. Sometimes her legs move and her arms move. She's supposed to be a little girl's cuddly toy, but she's not. I like your doll. I didn't see the doll for many years, and then I became very, very frightened of it. The real life Judy was completely paralyzed with fear. She's still handsome. My parents always told me, don't give it recognition, don't look it in the eyes. And to this day, I will not look it in the eyes. I don't think about it. You keep making me think about it. <laughs> Annabelle comes home. The evil is contained. Ed and Lorraine do believe diabolical forces are formidable, that they exist, that they are eternal, and they are at play. It's the doll, Ed. It's a beacon for other spirits. What was fascinating about this from the beginning, and I remember James Wan selling it to us, was as dark as you get with these stories, there was gonna be a real freedom in wanting to show the light and the love. And that's something we took and ran with. Their relationship and their faith in God gives them the ability to triumph. 
They did everything together. Their faith in their religion is what kept them safe and kept them going. The Warrens sort of bookend our movie, and in this, it's really about Judy sort of taking up the mantle of her parents and trying to figure out how to save the day. To be part of that story, my parents' life becoming such a huge franchise, it's a wonderful honor to have that. It's been really fun for us to bring out their humor and the love, and we need that. That's what starts to set this apart. And that's what's so appealing.